playoff game in goaded mills uh cfl so if you enjoyed this video go and drop a like on the video right now go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on so one thing i do want to mention before i get into the video is that as you just heard me say we are in goaded mills cfl now i actually was not in this the whole season um actually from what he told me the uh, there was a jags user and he was i believe when i joined he was like 10 and 3 or something like that he might have been 10 and 3 um but they were like in week 13 week 14 and i was already in the playoff spot so i actually didn't play any game i actually played one game it was actually against the ravens who's actually undefeated right now um <clears throat> and i actually did lose that game i do want to make sure i say that but the reason i didn't bring that to you guys is because we were already in the playoffs and when i joined the league we was already in week like 15 and so i didn't want to just hop into this and be like oh hey i'm in week 15 of you know uh, go to the CFL and I don't know I just I feel like it would have been a lot cleaner of a video if I would have just waited to the playoffs like I did and that's why we are in the wild card so if we hopefully make it past and get the matchup with the Ravens and like the divisional or a conference then um you guys definitely will be seeing that whether I win or lose and I did want to make sure I mention that because some of you guys do know that uh you know, I lose. I'm, I'm human. I lose. I don't mind posts and losses at all, especially if it's a good game. Um, So don't think, oh, bro, just don't want to post losses or nothing like that. No, you know, if, if, I, if I lose, I lose. You know, like, you know, good game. Okay, I lost, you know. Uh, But I just didn't want to hop into week 15 and be like, oh, hey, here's uh, CFL gameplay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you guys would be like, well, you know, where's it been the whole season? I never even knew he was in the CFL. You know, so that's why I said, you know what, I was waiting to play. I was, but... Regardless, I just really want to make sure I get that out the way. And as you can tell right here, I'm actually about to take you to my team right after we do training. And you can even tell that I didn't even do uh, the CFL because normally I actually have it to where it's set up to where it's gold. So when you do the training and everything, it's already um, gold and you can maximize your XP. But wasn't really worried about you. See right there, we do have JC Horn. I uh, can't wait to go over with his team because actually his team's pretty nasty. So the way he, uh, he has this set up while I actually go and upgrade this player. The way he has it set up is that you can actually buy like X factors, you can buy like superstar abilities or whatever. Uh, but I didn't participate in any of that because I wasn't worried about it. I just wanted to just come on here to give you guys some content with me playing. Right there you see we do have Ben Ro and keep in mind I did not draft this team. This is a fantasy draft, but I did not draft this team. Um <clears throat> whoever the Jags user was, he drafted his team and he was nine or he was nine to three or ten to three, one of those two. And you can tell like this dude team is nasty. You see right there I do have uh Miles Garrett and I had Aaron Donald. So those two combos by itself is nasty. Jerome Baker as well. Uh Darren Lee, he's pretty fast with 87 speed. Look at that. Chris Harris and Brian Poole with JC Horn. And he did put abilities on Brian Poole. That's why you see some of these players and some of these people have abilities. The only one, <clears throat> excuse me, the only one I put abilities on is Eric Rowe. Um, and you guys will see that in the gameplay why I chose to put him. Uh, with abilities exactly because he only has like 89 speed but you can tell my opponent's team right here he does have george kittle like i said he, he has some goons for sure you see he has jeffrey simmons with a uh, superstar on him and then he does have uh okay defense tackle anthony barr is always gonna be good uh not really sure about his middle linebacker right outside is okay but his cornerbacks are pretty nice he does have kendall fuller and he does have uh mullen now they're not the fastest but they're not the worst overall either but and he does have some decent safeties with a 90 cj gardner johnson with the speed when i say 90 so man right here we are in the wild card just like i said and we're playing against a bunch of goon yes we have another gun boom because apparently everybody loves gun bunch but his is going to be more gun bunch offset now he is in the panthers playbook um for offense so if you guys are kind of liking the uh, route concepts he put together then he is in the panthers offense which has, actually has one of the best bunches in the game i did a video on it a long time ago this was actually in the beginning of madden 21 whenever it was real prevalent but now you know you have formations like the uh, not formation you have playbooks like the jags playbooks um no the jets and the Falcons are actually one of the better ones now. But right there, as you can tell, he's going to just set up the classic mesh post. And I think he was doing a lot of his concerts out of mesh post in the Z-spot, if I'm not mistaken. That's what it was looking like to me. And also, if you guys are loving this defense that I'm running, make sure you go check out the video that I just posted before this one. It's going to literally go into detail um, what my bunch setup defense looks like. So if you guys like how I'm stopping things or if you think what I'm doing, you know, you're wondering how I'm doing it. 
make sure you go check that video out because I broke it down specifically how I like to do things. So anyway, you can tell right there. I mean, we're just getting instant pressure. Uh, Corey Davis, I believe his name is, is going to come clutch right there. Now, 30-17. I decided to send some blitz, but you can tell my user actually didn't get a chance to grab any of the linemen. So that's why even though I blitzed, it still didn't get there. But that's all right because we are going to make a clutch play right there with Chef Sheffield right there with the 93 speed. Can we go ahead and get out of there? We're trying to get a little stick right there, but we did around him, and he's able to make the tackle. But regardless, we have a big game right – well, a good good play right there. And right here, so what he's doing on defense, he's actually coming out in big nickel over G, and he's actually doing a show blitz. Now, I actually did put out a video specifically on this. So if you guys are interested in that, just make sure you go check that out. It should be in my defense uh, playlist, so make sure you go check that out. But – uh, right here, he's going to throw the ball out of bounds. Well, I'm going to throw the ball out of bounds because I thought about X, but I just didn't want to get baited. So I decided just to make the safe play right there. Even though my receiver did light light up, he does not. he's not able to get separation, which is unfortunate. But right there, we are going to find our tight end right there, uh, Tanya, who's going to fight for us. Oh, one thing I want to mention, I didn't change people's shoulder pads. I know you guys are probably looking like, why do they look like that? So whoever this dude was, he kind of did a lot of funny things. So he kind of changed around people's numbers. He uh, increased the size of people's shoulder pads to make them look like them big old, you know, the big old bulky, like, 19, like, 1970-style people when they walk around with their shoulders all like this and the shoulder pads. Yeah, he made everybody look like that. So some of the people I went and changed, but some of the ones I just kind of got tired of doing it because he it seemed like he did it for almost every single player, and I just didn't feel like fixing all that. <laughs> it was just too much work. But right there, we do play some great defense right there. Um, So I wanted to make sure I didn't get, out the, get that out the way because I know some of you guys probably wondering, like, why they look like that. But we got Guard 37, he does make a nice read to his tight end. I didn't actually want to go guard it. I was hoping I could get a uh, lurk on him, but he makes an excellent read. But right there, we are going to go ahead and scream at him. And it's going to bring up a second and 13. So we're looking good right here. So um, I believe he just, he did like a double crosser concept. But he, so he's trying to find a way how to bust my match. Because sometimes I play match coverage, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I'm doing. So um, just keep that in mind that it's not always match. Sometimes it's match coverage, and sometimes I actually go and set zone, zone drops. It just depends on the scenario and what they are doing. So right here is 4 for 19. So for sure, I'm about to actually blitz. You can tell I'm sending everybody. As long as I can grab a lineman, this blitz will come in almost every single time. Right there, you see I did move 75, and look what happens. We get the pressure off the edge, so it's going to bring us the ball back right here. So if we score, we're looking good because we'll be up 14-0. Right here, we do hit a cheeky delay fade, and I tried to go outside, but the game actually made me swerve back inside, but it is what it is, and right here, I just make a terrible read. Okay, so <laughs> while he's returning this for a touchdown, let me kind of explain. So... I didn't really think he wanted to guard that because when most people blitz, what they're going to do is they're going to kind of use her to flat, but then circle back. So I'll try to time it to where he'll circle back. But <clears throat> regardless, uh, he didn't. He, stu he stuck with it, and it was, you know, he, he got rewarded for it. So uh, we are uh, tied up now, so it's all good. Just now we need to go ahead and drive. We cannot make no more dumb mistakes like that. It's right there. We do find a nice dot. So it is going to bring up a first and 10 for us. So we're going to look and see what's open right here, and I am going to go ahead and chunk that right there. Cornerback's nowhere to be found, and we do get the nice touchdown right there that's going to put us up seven. So right here, uh, let's just see what our opponent can cook up right here. So he tried to put a curl route with a streak and a slant combo. We're not going for that, and he's going to be forced to throw the ball out of bounds. So we're just making his life really, really tough. And one thing I want you guys to pay attention to, I'm not sitting in the same uh, defensive shell. Just like I told you guys, if any of you watched my previous video, I switch up, you know, shells that I play all the time. It's just I give you guys a base in that video of what I do so if you guys are kind of watching the video and you go back and look at the video I just put out on my bunch defense you'll see that it's you know legit the same thing <laughs> you know like I want to make sure that you guys understand that I'm being transparent with you guys you know I don't want you to think I'm hiding nothing holding nothing from you everything that you're seeing me do here I put a video out on but regardless he did end up punting the ball and so that's going to bring up a second and 10 because we did get that incompletion right there so right here i throw a questionable read i probably should have took my flat but i thought my uh, receiver would be able to break him off because i don't understand i thought i had route tech on him i might have to go back and look at that because i'm not sure if i actually have route tech on him um because he does is not getting any type of separation at all but for the four so he's been blitzing a lot so i decided to hit him with an rpo for the first time in the game you could tell there was just nobody out there i didn't figure nobody would be out there and thankfully we get a nice animation from ea making his uh cornerback dumb out and we'll take that big old game man so right here we're looking good any points is good points at this point because we are up seven but we want to be up 14 so we're going to have to fight so right here you guys know my favorite red zone play can he get in there mari cooper cannot so he's at the one yard well i'm at the one yard line 10 seconds left, so regardless, we're getting points because we got two timeouts, but we're going to be able to walk into end zone right there. 
and it's gonna allow us to be up 14. So right here, I had circle and R1. I didn't know who I wanted to throw it to, so I just chose R1. And we do pick up a nice game right there. So it's gonna break up a first and 10 for us right there. Now, I know you guys are probably saying, well, that's a terrible read, but I did see his user stutter. So you're gonna see me right here go back to attacking his user because his user started to stutter. And I noticed that, so that's why I ran that Pacific play because what he was trying to do is kind of act like he was using the flats, but go back to look for something across the middle because he knows his pressure is gonna get in there. So that's why I wanted to do that last time when I threw that pick, but he actually committed to it. So that, like I said, that's why I said that was a great job. But I did pick up on that little tendency later in the game that you see me exposed and right there of course my cornerback is going to dumb out nothing i can really do about that it's unfortunate but third and five right here so if you guys notice i like to kind of switch up where i use her at and uh, a lot of times it works well for me but a couple times i actually do get exposed on <laughs> me just never had enough time to throw it but that's the game of football you know i always gonna have enough time to throw you know the reads that you have out there and, and, and as you can tell right here i did make an adjustment and that was completely my fault like i should have actually ran and picked that off but i didn't want to give up a quick slant but Regardless, that's a good read by him. So it's going to bring up a first tip for him. So as long as we kind of uh, slow his drive down, we're going to be good. I promise. It's right there. He tried to uh, throw that. He thought my cornerback wasn't going to be able to play it. We play it perfect now. Right here, I actually did kind of mess up. So you see how he's actually in a purple and a curl flat? Uh, I actually messed my coverage up. He's supposed to be in a quarter flat. And so normally when I play it like that, they'll actually match that streak that you see running wide open. So that was completely my fault. Um, I shaded over the top by accident, which actually canceled a match I was playing at, uh, on that play. So that's why that was screaming wide open. But that's completely fine because we still are up 14. So as long as we score, we're going to be straight. Uh, any kind of points is going to just basically put this game away at this time. So right there, we do find a nice dot with um, Debo Samuel. And we tried to get a little stick. Tried to get a little stick, man. But we weren't able to. So right here, first and 10, we are going to find R1 just chilling right there. And we're going to try to turn up against some yards. Now, I need to go change the number because I hate that he's 46. Like, I don't even know who this dude is uh, more. If y'all know who he is, let me know because I have no idea. He just has 95 speed, so I just put him in there. And I don't think his number is 46. I don't never heard of a number being 46 as a receiver, but I don't know. <laughs> but um, right there, it's 4 for 12. Now, I was I shouldn't have went. I should have punted this ball, but I just kind of threw it up hoping he got a pick and I was going to be able to tackle him. But regardless he does get the ball at the 50 so that was kind of worst case scenario of not getting any points so right here he is going to flip his bunch and i did talk to you guys about how my defense looks whenever i whenever your opponent flips bunch so that's why i said the things i give y'all make sure you watch them actually watch them in detail if you guys like you know if you guys like how i'm doing how the defense plays how's everything playing because kind of watch this right here so watch what's open right so we have everything pretty much covered and at that point he has to roll out the pocket we send our spy and everything's pretty much covered so like i said the things that i'm giving you guys i use myself i wouldn't give you guys something that i don't use myself so right here anyway second and ten there's just nothing open you know he tries to throw that which somehow that got open but regardless he does step out of bounds so that's gonna bring up a third and ten right here and so third and ten i actually did decide to bring the blitz and right there he does hit a nice slant i should have pressed coverage that so he could have pressed him but i didn't want to give up a one play touchdown from mike Evans getting off press so right here we are going to go ahead and scream at him with uh corey davis who does have four sacks on the day is right here he's screaming at him again and there's just nothing he tries to throw that but we are right there with chris harris jr there is no way he's going to be able to throw that and so right here I don't see nobody fast enough keeping up with Chris Harris Jr. So it's looking like, yep, we're going to go ahead and take this into the end zone. Russell Wilson, not fast enough. Who is 13? He's kind of hawking him down. Hold on. Who is that? <laughs> but regardless, we are going to get in the end zone. And, of course, right there, he's going to pretty much call game at that point because I'm just, you know, this game's out of hand. And thankfully, in the playoffs, they actually saved the game. I actually didn't know that until uh, after the game. I was about to get ready to message him and say, like, you know, bro, why'd you, you, know, why'd you quit? You know, we only had, like, two minutes left. But um, as soon as we got in back, as soon as I got back to the lobby, I was able to see, okay, cool. Everything saved how it's supposed to. We're good. You see right there, we did win 34-14. And um, we actually got some upgrades too. I actually wanna show you guys some of these upgrades. Um, specifically that I like the upgrade that we got is gonna be for the receiver. And as soon as we load right here. So you see, we got uh, Ronald Moore. That's actually his name. We got Carlos Davis. And we actually got an upgrade for Debo Samuel. So. Uh, real quick, uh, while you guys are watching this uh, upgrade, I just want to say thank you guys so much for actually checking out my content, especially we're pretty much in August and uh, Madden 22 is going to drop here in a little bit. And any of you guys that's watching this, I truly, truly appreciate you, uh, seriously, because... You know, your guys are slowly changing my lives, and I really enjoy bringing you guys content. Now, normally, I love giving you guys, like, schemes and tips, 
just so I can make you guys better Madden players. But I also love showing you guys gameplay every once in a while. But since Madden's been a little slow and you guys haven't really been watching my schemes, that's why I've been dropping more gameplay. Because I figured, you know, that's I guess that's what you guys like. Um, now when next Madden rolls out, I will be putting out nothing but, you know, not nothing but, but it'll be majority schemes and tips to help you guys be great at Madden 22. But anyways, uh, you can tell right there we did a little upgrade with him. But I'm actually about to uh, show you guys the seating. And then after that, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm Rage Real, and I'm out.